I don't know. Have they have the cock blocks all been defined? Like the different kind of cock blocks. I don't know if there's there's names for them, but I got a new I got a new cock block for you. Uh, this this cock block is very special and a very obvious one. And I think like this happens all the time, but for some reason I've never heard anybody name it. So I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kick off the creative process. I call this guy the announcer. That's the uh, that's that's the name of this cock block. This is what happened to me. I was I did a gig in Jersey. And at the end of the night, these two girls who waited to be at the back of the line came up and they said, hey, you want to go out and get banana pancakes? You know, making a reference to my joke, saying if I wanted to go out and hang out with both of them. Right. And the second they said it, I was like, holy shit. Here's a fucking here's something I never had. Here's a two on one. And I can't fucking do it because I'm with Nia. Who's kidding? Look, who? Not because I'm with Nia. It's because everybody's got a cell phone fucking camera and I get caught. <laughs> Honesty. Um, no, I couldn't deal with the guilt. Um, but I gotta, I'll be honest with you. And I would say this if Nia was here. If two fucking tens came up to me and said, let's do this, I, I, you know, yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. I never did it. You know, fuck it. So anyways, so they said, hey, you want to get, uh, you want to go out and get bananas and pancakes or something like that? And then this fucking guy like 10 feet away, away just goes like, oh, what's going on over here? You know those guys? Like if a girl just comes up to you and just like, you know, you know, I've always loved guys in green shirts. And you're thinking, right as you're thinking like, holy fuck, this is going to happen. There's some other guy like five, hey now, look out. And just makes the whole fire, the whole fucking room look over at you. The fucking announcer. Fucking cock block motherfucker. You know, who would do that? If I was standing there and I heard two girls say it to a guy, I'd be like, God damn, it's going down, right? Side of my mouth, that lucky motherfucker. I wouldn't be, oh! She wants to put it in her mouth while the other one watches. I mean, why would you do that? The fucking announcer. And if you have a friend like that, all right? The only way you can still hang out with him is if, if he goes out, if you guys are going out trying to meet women, he has to wear one of those old ABC bright yellow Monday night football sport coats. And if the girls, why is he wearing that? You'll see. You'll see. And that'll be the, that would be the funniest fucking thing ever. Like and if somehow if he couldn't figure out the joke and he just thought the coat looked good and just the whole night you just saw him anytime <laughs> you heard in the, you know, 10 feet away in the bar. Hey, now. And you just look over and you see this guy dressed like Howard Cosell. And you'd be like, oh, that's the announcer. He's the, he's the, <laughs> he's the guy he can cock block from like, he's almost like a sniper. If he wasn't so fucking loud. He's at the same distance as a fucking marksman, but uh, he kills it with, uh, with loudness. Oh my God, did that guy fucking annoy me. Hey, Nia, come here, come here. She just came in shaking her head. You are the what? I am beyond. Come on over here. I was just telling that story where that guy cock blocked me with those two chicks out in uh, Jersey, where they were just going. What do you mean cock blocked you? I told you this story. No, but you're making it seem like you were going to do something, and then you no, no, I wasn't going to do something. This is the thing. But I just admitted. Just a general cock blocking. Yeah, but this is what I did admit. If they were both tens, I would have. I oh, would have. Really? I would have yeah. done it. I never had a fucking two on one. And you know something? Would you be that mad if they were both smoking hot and the cell phone video got out? <laughs> the video doesn't even need to get out when you got the announcer there. The guy, he just literally goes like, yeah, we'd like to get bananas and pancakes with you. And he, he said something like, whoa, what's going on over there? <laughs> Nothing. You're a jerk. Why am I a jerk? Silk pajamas. <laughs> huh? You are. Talking about cock blocking and two on ones. What kind of podcast is this turning into? You know what? It's turning into a very honest podcast. I was very honest. Oh, I, I said this good is good for this, you. This is the thing. I said I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't deal with the guilt uh-huh. unless if they if <laughs> unless they were both <laughs> tens. If they're both fucking tens, give me a break. Let me tell you something. Nia. If you hooked up with Brad Pitt, there's only so mad I could get. Oh really? It's fucking Brad Pitt. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. 
Okay. Well, you know what? That would that if I just if I just said some generic what, yeah, but what good looking what guy. Yeah. If I just said some generic good looking guy <laughs> and you and you just said that, that would have scared me. But the way you just acted like you had Brad Pitt's phone number, that doesn't scare me. Oh really? Okay. It's what going if, down. What if it's the like the regular guy version of Brad Pitt? Is that okay? Like he's just as good. If you want to go Brad live Pitt. out on the street and get the fuck out of this house, absolutely. But you're allowed to have some sort of crazy two on one? Yes. That's bullshit. No, it isn't. It is. If you just, you know what, because you're, you're thinking on it on like like a, a very basic level. But if you really, oh, but if you really think about it, just think about it. It makes sense. Bill, you're not gonna try to mind fuck me <laughs> into thinking that it's okay for you to have some sort of two on one, and I can't. That's not. No, it's not going down like that. Yeah, but God, women are beautiful. We we lust after you. It totally makes sense. You guys find like dicks are weird. They're gross. It's all hanging out there. It's disgusting. You don't want you, that. You know nothing about. You you don't want that. Which has been proven time and time and again <laughs> in your stand up and in your podcast. But that's a that's another discussion. You know what? You you just set yourself up like you're going to make some huge point and then you just tapped out. You know nothing about women, but, 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 but that's just another discussion. And I just don't want to even get into that. So now what, you just give me the face. What are you doing today? Lazy? <laughs> huh? What do you mean lazy? Nene Kubrick? Yeah. I just uh, filmed my short film over the weekend. Screw you. I've been working hard while you're in here in your pajamas talking about two on ones. Yeah, well, I have to do an hour's worth of shit here. I'm coming up on it. What yeah, do we have? fill it up with whatever you can. There we can. go. An hour and two minutes. Oh, okay. An hour and two have minutes. You, have you done your uh, your viewer emails yet? Yeah, I did. Viewer. Listener emails. You oh. did that already? Oh, because you want to chime in. I don't know. I what already you, what did it. Got, what do you got? I though? already did it. What about overrated, underrated? Didn't do it. They didn't have any this week. Oh, okay. Look at you. I think you're a fan of this podcast. No, I'm not. <laughs> Listen, it didn't go down, mm-hmm. all right? But I'm, t- I'm telling you right now, Nia, if two tens come up to me, it's going down. Okay. All right? Well, just be prepared for the retaliation. <sighs> Game, set, match. Really? <laughs> You're going to deny me that? Can I just buy you some stuff? Wow. Really? No, yes. I'm not, I'm really. Not, I'm not some sort of fucking basketball wife that can be placated with material things uh, to a point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, if I'm going to be fucking honest here, come on. There's got to be something that I can buy. You know something? This should be our Valentine's Day. All right. For the guy, the guy Valentine's Day. This is what Valentine's Day should be every year is the guy gets a two on one and then you get some nice stuff. Well, why can't I have a two on one? Because you don't like that. What do you mean? What do you know? Women don't like sex. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find, like when you guys fantasize, you think about the guys in your life. You don't think about other things. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Um, come on, Nia, just one. Just give me one. You get one and I get one. No, That's you don't. Deal. You don't. Then well, then forget it. Because you don't want one. What do you mean I don't want one? You're just being childish. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You, you th- see, you think you think you want to hook up with, with Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, uh, Brad Face, whatever the <laughs> fuck his name is, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Brad, Brad, Brad Face Pitt. You, th- you just think you do. See, you know what I think about me is, is, like, you have to hook up with somebody famous. I'm actually just regular people. See, I'm down to earth with this shit. See, that's what I'm saying. You like stuff. You like shiny, shiny things. No. Uh, this is the deal. I get a two on one, and you you get some some cracked up face old man in Vegas like Robert Redford, like I used to be good looking when Nixon was in office. No, no, that's not how negotiating works. Now you got to come with something else here. No, I think we should both get an equal opportunity thing going on. Yeah, but this isn't an equal relationship. Why? Why is it not an equal relationship? Because if I wanted to, I could pin you down to the ground right now and tickle you until you passed out, and there's not a fucking thing you can do about it. What it, that, that has nothing to do with anything. That's how the world works, Nia. Why do you think America's on top? Because we're right? Because or because we, can, or because, because we can blow you up more times? Well, so it's your, your physical presence? That's what makes it like an unequal relationship? Yeah, because well, I can beat you down. Well, maybe you're physically stronger, but I'm mentally stronger than you. Oh, snap! And I'm smarter than you. Yeah, so whatever physical power let me ask you this what ex- you have are trumped by my mental fucking goliathness so suck on that red <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why do you think you're smarter than me? Oh, that was good, though. That was, you got a good one in, and now you're storming off. I taught you well.